Hello, this is Eileen, the Environmental Educator, and in this video, we're going to talk about something that's uh, a headline that's been making a lot of people uh, kind of chuckle at it and mock it, and that is that um, right here, <laughs> yeah, the occupation, um, they are pushing EV charger subsidies, yes, in low-income places such as Martha's Vineyard. Okay, you 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 can't make this stuff up. Okay, so um, this is NBC Montana. This was the Daily Caller, and they they just <laughs> yeah. They, so right here, uh, the occupation and a push to make electric vehicles more practical is offering a tax credit for car chargers to a portion of Martha's Vineyard by classifying it as a low-income community. Now, the thing is, okay, they, they do go by um, IRS guidelines on how to determine right here. IRS code specifies an area qualifies as low income if it has a poverty rate of 20% or more areas with a medium income be below that of 80% of the nearest metropolitan area or state can also qualify. This allows affluent areas to still qualify as low income as long as they are located in significantly richer areas. Now, the thing about this is just because Martha Vineyard, Vineyard has a lot of high profile, high name people who visit, who own homes there, okay, that does not mean that that is their full time home, where they're actually registered to vote, where their tax base actually is. You know, these people own multiple homes. And the thing is, is Martha's Vineyard, like every other tourist industry town, coast to coast, is a very low income community. The people that work in the tourist industry work in America's maybe the biggest sweatshop in the world. Okay, it is absolutely a sweatshop from coast to coast. I know I've lurked in it since 90 when I quit my real job to ski. And you make significantly below the cost of living without a benefit in the world. And you work 60 hours a week and you're never going to get in, in, in really high um, cost of living places and you're never going to get a benefit in the world because it is such a, a, a death to America joke and the business owners don't get that they're destroying America. They already have decades of this later. But, you know, all they have to do is offer no wages and benefits and then they can just fraudulently go tell the United States government they can't get Americans. They don't even try. And even if there's Americans knocking at their door, that doesn't matter. They can just reject them and then fraudulently, which they all do, tell the United States government that they can't get Americans. And it is just an absolute joke to the government. I've talked to national public, Steve Daines, national public servant, the man who was like, I'll vote for Greg Giafonte. Remember um, Greg Giafonte, when he was running for the Senate, he slugged some reporter and Steve Daines was going to, you know, speak for his, Greg's quality, you know, his character, his integrity, because Steve made a lot of money working at Greg's company right now, technology. Okay. And now Steve is a national public servant and he just literally laughed in my face about it. I'm like, I'm like, okay, yeah, you're, you're the problem. Okay. But the business owners are the problem. They will not ever, ever be like, Hey, we should pay these people. Why won't people come and live and work in resorts? Oh, right. Not because we run a sweatshop. And it's worse and worse and worse every year. More illegals, easier to get 
um, foreign worker visas. And of course, those people, many of them, a lot of them never leave ever, ever, ever. Many uh, marry anything that will marry them. <laughs> you know, there's terms for them. And of course, have their anchor babies. And, and then we're stuck with them. And then they are our immigration department and bring in 25, 30 more people. I see it all the time. Okay, that is why the tourist industry is low income. But these areas truly are low income, even though this has been taking a lot of heat. And even though when the illegals, um, you know, recently showed up at um, Martha's Vineyard, Tucker was like, oh, look at Martha's Vineyard getting the, the National Guard out there because illegals aren't welcome there. Let me tell you, Martha's Vineyard is drowning in illegals. It has plenty of Mexicans and it has, it is loaded with Brazilians. Okay. Who are, you know, equally, they know their citizen numero uno, your citizen number 20. So yeah, Americans will smile to your face because we're walking all over you. And if you dare say anything about it, you're fired. Okay. And that is why uh, America is in collapse, one of the main reasons, and why these areas are um, low income, <laughs> okay? So they, they truly are. But right here, it, it says that, um, wait a sec, it's right here. It, it says that these stations, they cover 30% of the cost, well, they the tax credit, right here, tax credit provides up to 30% of the cost of the charger to individuals and businesses. So I, I discussed this in another video about how the public, which is basically currency collapsing debt because America doesn't spend money, it spends debt, and debt is paying for this. Americans have debt that is accruing interest is paying for this. When right down at the bottom of this article, this uh, NBC article, um, Toyota chairman, A-K-I-O, and his name is T-O-Y-O-D-A, like T-O-Y-O-T-A, just a D in the place of the T. They say that uh, he doubled down on his disdain for electric vehicles, claiming the push for such products should come from community um, consumer demand rather than government government preference, which, yeah, exactly. There, there should be no currency collapsing debt, even if it was actual money. Okay, especially going, this is going to places like Greenwich, Connecticut, Nantucket, okay, and Martha's Vineyard. And, and there will be some rich people who, you know, I'm sure are driving around in their electric vehicles because they think they're so cool, who get the benefit of this. And maybe there's a few workers there that have an electric vehicle. I, I'm guessing the demand isn't that great, but it should never be from a government program or a tax credit, ever, ever. And if we want to get rid of you know, really high end communities being low income. Well, then we need <laughs> to, it, it's not going to happen because Americans don't even see it as a problem, but it needed to happen decades ago to not be employing illegals and invaders and foreign workers and people that overstay their visas or people that, you know, commit, well, just marry anyone that will marry them. And, uh, and then bring all the rest of their family here who drives wages down more because it's just a big joke. The Yellowstone Club, you, you hear about it. Okay. In Big Sky. Oh, who are all the construction workers going into that club on a daily basis? Well, it used to be Americans, like those horrible, horrible white people. Who is it now? Uh, you just go sit on the road and watch them drive up the hill. And it is illegal after illegal after illegal. The rich people of the Yellowstone Club can't afford to pay Americans. You can't get Americans to build homes. Oh, yeah, you can. Just not when you're paying wages that 
Americans can't afford to work for. So, you know, this, this just got a lot of, uh, a, a lot of flack. People, you know, are laughing that Martha's Vineyard would be considered a low income area, except it really is. But that doesn't mean that the government should be pushing any agenda anywhere or giving any type of subsidies to anything. That that's not the government's job. And as the Toyota guy said, yeah, what we need is just an actual consumer driven market and then nothing would be coming of this. We wouldn't even be talking about this. And if the people in charge would actually allow solutions, we would have implemented solutions long ago and all of this ridiculousness and all of this currency collapsing debt because that is all that these subsidies are is currency collapsing debt would never be happening. But don't let anybody kid you that these high-end resorts where rich people go are not incredibly low income and they have been for decades and it is a disgrace to this country, and it is very much a reason why America is an absolute, complete collapse. Because American business owners say, they, they give that finger to Americans and to America every single time they're not employing an American. So stay tuned, people.